using N20 motors and the output shaft speed is 60 RPM. Um, it's got a D shape on the end of the shaft so uh, in order to attach some sort of fixing I've come up with this which is a, a hub assembly so this is off the printer um, and it's got a, a D shape 3 millimeter D shape hole in the center uh, it's 6 millimeters deep I'll cross over to the yellow one so that we can see the highlights of the holes and everything so what I've done there it's got a 3 millimeter center hole D shaped um, I've got a M2 by 5 allen screw that will screw down through and bear down onto the flat of the motor shaft so that will lock the motor into its housing um, and it will all turn as one so it, it locks it to the shaft so I'll do that in a minute now uh, what I'll do is I'll try and put the motor in the, the same way on all sides push it all the way in now so that he's butted up against there so we've got the output shaft sticking through and the hub assembly will go slide onto the end of the motor housing oh incidentally before I uh, get that far these these nuts I've inserted so if we're looking at the raw print you'll find that I've um, incorporated the hex into the uh, PLA plastic and they're a proper size really that you can push them in with a pair of pliers pinch them in and uh, they'll, they'll stay there Okay, so I've got the uh, flange attached, and uh, it will, this yellow one will be swapped out for a black one. Okay, so looking at the wheels and the tyres, um, they're all as one, casted as, as one unit, so you can't remove the tyre from the, the wheel without you know completely destroying it so um, we're working with what we've got so what we've got here is um, the remains of the axle pin flange so um, in this instance we're not going to use any of that any of the centre uh, we're going to cut away all this down to this face here which is the where the flange on the motor will butt up to so it's two flat surfaces so uh, I'll run through the what I do to cut this lot out um, and just a quick look at the front face so the front face has got t 12 imitation um, wheel studs or wheel nuts, bolts, whatever um, so what I'm planning to do is to, in the 
in between the spaces is to insert six wheel bolts so on the front side of it there will be six M2 uh, socket headed screws bolting this wheel onto the hub Right, so from here um, we're going over to the machine. So the machine has got a rotary file in it or an end mill cutter. Um, and it's uh, I, what I usually do I use the drill press to hold the bit still, really. The aim of the game is to remove the rest of this so that it's flush with this surface so you don't want to take anything away from this face here so it's bringing everything down all this here excess rub it away until it's nice and flat okay here we are at the drill press and uh, hopefully you can see and hear all this but this is a setup of using a, a 10 millimeter rotary foil uh, with his he's got an end cutter as well on the bottom. Uh, I just bolted this block of steel in just to give us a, a flat surface and then put the wheel up inside. Now I need to get it somewhere fairly close, so uh, jack this one up. Just doing small cuts at a time really. I've got a little bit of clearance between the two, so I'll fire it up. Okay, so fresh off the drill press, uh, blown out all the uh, debris from inside, so uh, that's what we've got, that's the finish that we've got off the rotary foil. So I'll just do a second finish now, um, and that's using a three, 360 grit. So what I'll do is, I've got a piece of bar, and I'll, I'll wrap that around the end to make a, a good end then I clamp that in the in the jaws of the vise and then just push that to it and turn it backwards and forwards like that to clean up that face and there we are so that's the inside uh, flange face uh, complete um, I'm not too worried about the actual end finish of this the the main thing is that it's nice and flat so that the wheel runs straight it's, it's not buckled or anything like that um, most of this will be covered up by the flange plate once it's all bolted together um, so just before actually fitting it it will the end result will be there so um, most of it will be covered up anyway you won't see that right so concentrating on the front face now the next thing it will be to um, fit the or drill the wheel bolt fixings so I'm going to be using a yellow insert face plate for the bolts to go through so this this is uh, ready to take a six bolt fixing so what we're going to do is to line up the intended bolt holes with the existing ones so if we look closely at the 
front face of the wheel, you can see you've got um, 12, 12 impressions or uh, not dimples, raised raised pieces uh, to look like uh, wheel bolts or wheel nuts. Um, so what I'm aiming for is to shoot a bolt hole between the two raised portions. So I've made this, so this will be the front front face on the back face I've made this so I've got 12 holes around the circumference so they're one and a half mil uh, deep this is two mil thick so they go down one and a half mil and then every other one has got a two mil hole drilled between the two so what happens is that this will fit on the front then need to push down so that the smaller holes engage with the raised the 12 raised portions okay and locks it into position so that will stay in that position now uh, and the next thing will be to mark the holes now I've, I've done this with a, a scriber so I've actually held this down lock it into position and then mark the first hole it's hit right between the two uh, fake wheel studs so what I can do now is to put that back into position and use uh, an M2, just an M2 uh, hex edge screw and screw that down through the wheel. Right, that will hold the front plate onto the wheel so it won't move about. And then all we've got to do is to line up the other five. We can shoot the other five holes in uh, and end up with six holes in the right position, if you see what I mean. Okay, so I've just punched through the rest of the holes there now. Um, so I'll just run a 2mm uh, M2 or 2mm drill bit through just to uh, clean the holes out and then just rub over the back side, the flange, to clear those burrs out. Um, and then we'll come back and fit the wheel to the hub. And there we are. So it's all bolted together. So uh, we've got the... Uh, these are M2 by 8s um, stainless steel hex head screws. Um, so we've got that screwed together. The wheel is actually sandwiched between that and the dry flange on the back. Um, so we've got the, the face ring at the bottom. Uh, everything's tightened up. I think uh, there's a view from the back side. I think on reflection I could use um, M2 bus 6 because there's like 2 millimeter protrusion through so the these are eights at the moment 